Thank you for choosing Dr. Aga as your surgeon. Your safety is of utmost importance, and we want you to be best prepared for your procedure. Please watch this video as it has pertinent pre- and post-operative information with regard to your surgery. In preparing for your surgery, we've compiled all the information that you might need before, during, and after your procedure. Please read these instructions to prepare and guide you through the process. The next slides will outline the following topics. Medications to avoid, supplements and vitamins to stop taking, supplements to include for optimal healing, aftercare recovery nursing care, preoperative instructions, postoperative instructions, and procedure-specific instructions. Please direct all medical questions to our PA or nurse via email or text. All requested postoperative photos must be sent via email, and please make sure the flash is on. If for any reason you need to contact us after hours, please call our main office line and leave a detailed message with the answering service. If you are experiencing a true medical emergency, please call 911 or report to the nearest emergency room. Medications to avoid before surgery. All patients having surgery must discontinue taking all products that contain aspirin, ibuprofen, and vitamin E starting two weeks prior to their procedure as they may cause bleeding during or after surgery. If you're experiencing pain, you may take extra strength Tylenol only. Oral hormones, hormone replacement therapy, or birth control pills should be discontinued four weeks prior to surgery. Oral hormones and contraceptives both contribute to the formation of blood clots. See the next slide for a list of all medications to discontinue four weeks prior to surgery for different reasons. You may continue these medications again after cleared by your surgeon, which is typically about four weeks after surgery. Please refer to slide five for a detailed list of medications to avoid. If you're taking any medications that are not listed, please let us know. Supplements to stop taking from three weeks before to three weeks after surgery. In addition to the above medications, many of the following supplements will thin your blood and increase your risk of complications. The next two slides are very important as they provide you with the supplements and daily dosages required for optimal healing following your surgery. Protein, vitamin A, vitamin C, B vitamins, zinc, selenium, copper, arnica montana, bromelain, and flavonoids. It is highly recommended that if you're having a long surgery or multiple procedures, that you hire nursing care to assist you at home or place of stay. We work with a nursing company in which the nurses are specifically trained to care for Dr. Aga's patients. They are in constant contact with our own RN and PA while caring for you. Nurses assist you with leaving the surgical center, walking, positioning, dressing changes, drain care, medications, wound vac placement, and many other helpful tasks. Please contact them at least one month from your surgery date to ensure you can be accommodated. A successful surgery requires a partnership between you and your plastic surgeon, Dr. Aga. The following instructions are essential for a safe experience and good outcome. If you're unable to comply with these instructions, you should notify our office. As a result, your surgery may need to be postponed or delayed at the judgment of Dr. Aga. This is essential to your health and your safety. One month prior to surgery, you'll be scheduled for your preoperative appointment. We will provide you with prescriptions and forms to take to your primary care physician for your medical clearance. You will also meet with Dr. Aga and or his staff to discuss the surgical plan and take your photos. If you do not live locally, one of our surgical coordinators will schedule a virtual preoperative appointment for you and all documents will be sent to you electronically. If you do not have a primary care physician and live locally, you may contact Dr. Reza Alame to schedule your preoperative appointment. Starting three weeks before surgery, please make sure to stop smoking. Nicotine can really impair your ability to heal because it compromises circulation at the site of surgery and can lead to skin death 
known as necrosis, after surgery. You must be free of nicotine-based products for at least three weeks prior to surgery. Please also stay away from secondhand smoke. Your healing heavily depends on this. Please notify our office if you're within three weeks of surgery and have smoked or used any nicotine-based products. Practicing proper fitness. Practicing good fitness habits is an important factor in your overall health and well-being. Upper body stretches and low weight strength training can help enhance your posture and your strength in the weeks following surgery. Good nutrition. Eat well during the weeks prior to surgery. Crash dieting, overeating, or high alcohol intake can greatly affect your overall health and well-being. A healthy and balanced diet high in protein is essential. Also, begin taking the recommended supplements daily as listed on slides 7 and 8. Prepare and plan. Schedule any time off of work and any support you will need at home in the days following surgery, including housework, childcare, shopping, and driving. Make certain a responsible adult is confirmed to drive you to and from surgery and that one is confirmed available to stay with you around the clock for 24 hours at least following surgery, unless you've hired the nursing care. If you're an out-of-town patient, please make sure that you have a responsible adult to care for you while you're in California. Put your schedule together for the day before, day of, and the first few days following surgery, and share this with all of your key support people. Any procedure with a tummy tuck requires you to be bent at a 45 to 90 degree angle for a few weeks. This includes sitting and sleeping. Therefore, we recommend renting a recliner chair and or a walker. This is easily done through the nursing company or medical supply company such as Rent-A-Center. You should find a place in your house or hotel where you want to spend your time recovering. You will not be able to walk up multiple stairs. This is to prevent your incisions from opening and will keep you safe. If you do not need a recliner chair, find your comfort zone. Locate the most comfortable place where you can gently recline and recover. You don't want to be testing locations or pillows on the day of surgery. Shop for magazines, books, music, and other items to keep you busy while recovering. Here you will find an itemized list of medical supplies to order. You will use these for dressing changes at home in order to take the best care of your incisions. Our staff can assist you in which items in particular are most suitable for your specific procedure. Lead a healthy lifestyle. In weeks prior to surgery, maintain the best health and hygiene. A lingering cold, virus, or other illness can result in your surgery being rescheduled. Make certain to address any illness immediately and advise our office of any serious illness or change in your health. Schedule your hair care. You may not be able to color or perm your hair in the four to six weeks following facial surgery. Please be certain to schedule these services now if you wish. Relax and enjoy life. Stress and anxiety over life's daily events and even your planned surgery can affect your healing. Fill your prescriptions. Please let the office know if you have any difficulty doing so. Bring all of your medications with you to surgery. You may be given one or more of these medications. Common complaints. Constipation is a common side effect of narcotics such as oxycodone. Over-the-counter colase may be taken to help with this. If colase is not sufficient, you may try milk of magnesia or an enema, but please notify our office before doing so. Skin irritation and itching is a common complaint after surgery. You may try over-the-counter medications like Zyrtec or Claritin during the day and Benadryl at night to relieve this. If you develop hives, please notify the office. You may need to stop one of your medications. If you develop blisters, keep them moist with bacitracin ointment. Nausea is prevented by placing the scopolamine patch behind your ear the evening before surgery. If you need to be prescribed Zofran for nausea, please contact the office. Oftentimes, patients, especially out-of-town patients, have difficulty getting all of their medications from pharmacies such as CVS, Walgreens, or stores like Target. Newport Center Compounding Pharmacy carries all medications prescribed by Dr. Aga and also takes insurance. Thank you for completing this educational presentation. If you have any other questions, please note them for your in-office preoperative appointment.